Hi, I'm Erica and welcome to Sports School. Yoga is a great way to tone your entire body and today we're going to step it up a little bit by adding greater resistance to build up greater body strength. For this class, in addition to your usual props, you'll need a set of wrist and ankle weights. They look something like this. Anywhere from two to five pounds should work. This added resistance is gonna help your body build up heat more quickly, which is good, especially if you only have half an hour. You're gonna build up more muscle mass and the gentle resistance will help you to go a little bit deeper into some of the stretches. Before you do the practice, if you don't have a basic understanding of the poses, Try the sequence once without weights or check out yoga, Sports School's Yoga Foundations. Great, so we're gonna start out in child's pose. Separate your knees slightly, bring your feet together and fold forward over your legs. Relax your shoulders. Draw a really deep breath into your lower back and exhale it out. And then do that again, deep breath in. Exhale it out. Then stretch your arms out in front of you. Look forward, separate your hands, shoulders distance. Straighten your arms. Come on to all fours. Curl your toes under. Press back to downward dog. So in down dog, grip the floor with your palms. Firm your outer arms in. Gently draw your navel in. And reach your sit bones up. And as you do that, ground down through your heels. Work your legs as much as you can. And keep your quads lifting as you come into a push-up position. Draw a deep breath in, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Step your feet between your hands. Separate your feet, hips distance. Grab your elbows, hang forward. Stretch out the entire back side of your body. If this is too much, just bend your knee slightly. And then from here, do bend your knees a little bit. Interlace your hands behind your back. Pull your shoulders open. Press your shoulders down away from your ears and reach your arms up over your head or as far, far forward as you can over your head. And if this is easy, gently straighten your legs. One more breath here. Then bring your hands to your hips. Press your shoulders down. Bend your knees slightly with a long spine and a flat back. Slowly come all the way up to standing. When you get to standing, step your feet together at the front of your mat. Roll your shoulders open. Turn your palms open, lift your heart up, and on a big inhale, reach your arms up over your head. On an exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Step back to a push-up position, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Deep breaths all the way into the backs of your legs. One more big breath here. Exhale it out completely. Step your right foot forward. Step your left foot forward. Feet together. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Look up. Exhale, lower your arms. Stand tall. Again, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press into your heels, reach. Step back to a push-up position, lower down. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward dog. One more breath here. Step your left foot between your hands. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, lower your arms. Again, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step back, lower down. 
Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. From here, lift your right leg up in the air behind you. Keep your hips square to the floor. In other words, don't roll your hip open. Make sure your front and right hip bone is level with your left. Get one line of energy from your wrists out through the ball of your right foot and keep your left hip drawing back and in. Then keeping your right leg as straight as you can, try to lift it up as high as you can as you ground down through your inner left heel. And then with each inhale, try to grow a little bit longer. Find more space inside. Great, now from here, bring your right thigh to meet your rib cage, your forehead to meet your right knee, and your shoulders over your wrists. Try to pull your body into a little ball, so draw your navel in and try to bring your forehead to your knee and squeeze your right heel up as high as you can. But as you do that, drop your hips slightly towards the floor. Take three more deep breaths here. And then on an inhale, reach your right leg back and up. Then swing your right foot all the way through between your hands. Place it underneath your right shoulder. Turn your back foot on its side. Pause here. Draw your right hip back. Pull your heart forward. Keep your back leg strong and airplane your arms down along your sides. Now keeping your right knee bent 90 degrees and your back leg really strong, slowly lift your torso up into warrior one. Look up, stretch to your sideways, stretch up through your fingertips. If you can, press your palms into each other. Four more deep breaths here. Be really conscious of your breath. Breathe as deeply as you can. And then on your exhale, lower your hands down. Step back to a push-up position. Hold here and lift your right leg up in the air. Take five more breaths. Keeping your shoulders pressing down, your right leg lifting. One more inhale. Slowly lower down. Put the foot down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, stretch your left leg up in the air behind you, keeping your hips square to the floor. Outer arms squeeze in and reach your hips out of your shoulders. Firm your left thigh and lift the leg up a little bit higher. Now keeping the leg up, bring your shoulders over your wrists. Take five breaths here in a push-up position with your left leg up in the air. You can feel your whole body working here. One more breath. And then reach your left leg back and up and swing your left foot all the way through between your hands. Place it underneath your left shoulder. Turn your back foot on its side. <clears throat> Draw your left hip back and sort of rest your torso on your left thigh, airplane your arms down along your sides. Keep the back of your neck long. Now press into your left heel and your right heel. Draw your front ribs in and slowly lift up into warrior one. Keep the left knee bent deep, reach through your right leg and lift your torso up. Three more big breaths here. One more inhale. And on the exhale, lower your hands down. Step back, lift your left leg up in the air. Take five breaths here. One more breath, and slowly keep the leg up, lower down. Put the foot down, inhale, up, exhale, downward facing dog. Woo! Rest in down dog, briefly. One more breath here. Then bring your feet between your hands. Step your feet together. I want you to bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale, lift up into chair pose. Hold here for five breaths. Pressing your shins towards your calves. Ground down through your heels and reach your torso out of your hips. And then keeping your arms straight, see if you can your arms, lift your arms up a little bit higher. One more breath. Then press all the way up to standing. Lower your arms. Take a really deep breath in. Let it out through your mouth. Relax your neck, drop your shoulders. And then 
staying grounded and centered. Sun salutation B. Bend your knees, drop your hips. On an inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold and straighten. Inhale, reach forward. Step back to a push-up position, lower down. Inhale, strong legs. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot forward, back foot flat. Just one breath, warrior one pose. Then lower your hands, step back, and lower down. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot forward, back foot flat. Bend the knee deep. Inhale, stretch your waist up. Exhale, lower. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward dog. Deep breaths here. One more big breath. Exhale it out. Bring your feet between your hands. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Drop your hips. Chair pose. Press all the way up to standing. Then release your arms. Bend your knees. Drop your hips. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold and straighten. Now pause here. Bend your knees 90 degrees. Rest your torso on your thighs and airplane your arms down along your sides. Put the weight in your heels as much as you can, but pull your heart forward. And now, keeping your shoulders pressing down, stretch your arms out in front of you. Squeeze your thighs into each other. Lift your arms up, but drop your chest onto your legs. Keep your arms straight if you can. Lift them up a little higher. Good. Now, airplane your arms down along your sides. On an inhale, we're going to come back up into chair pose. Exhale, chest on thighs. Three. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold here. Five counts. Five. Four. Three, and one more big breath, and then fold forward, straighten your legs. Inhale, draw forward, step back into a push-up position, hold here, push your shoulders down away from your ears, draw your front ribs in. One more breath, on the exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, come up, and exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot between your hands, turn your back foot on its side. Again, rest your torso on your thigh, airplane your arms down along your sides. Bend your right knee deep. Now, keeping your shoulders pressing down, slowly stretch your arms out in front of you. Make your body really long. Draw your right hip back, reach through your left leg, pull through your torso, pull through your arms. And breathe. Now keep your chest lifted, airplane your arms down along your side. Five times, we're gonna inhale up into warrior one. Exhale, rest your chest on your thigh. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, bend the knee deeper. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, one more time, inhale, come up. If you can, five breaths. Reach up out of your torso, use your arms to lift you up out of your hips so you're light. One more big breath, then lower your hands down, woo! Step back to push-up position, hold here. Catch your breath in plank. One more breath, slowly lower down. On an inhale, lift your heart up, reach your legs, and exhale, downward dog. Ooh. All right, other side, step your left foot between your hands, turn your back foot flat, rest your torso on your left thigh, airplane your arms down along your sides. 
So now use your hands to pull your shoulders down and keep your shoulders down, but stretch your arms out in front of you. So stay spacious around your neck. Push through your back leg, pull through your ribs. Reach in opposite directions out of your center. Three more breaths. Then airplane your arms down along your sides. On an inhale, we're gonna lift up into warrior one. Exhale, chest on thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chest on thigh. Here comes the sweat. Exhale, lower, two more. Last time, come on up and hold five, four. Again, use your arms, lift yourself up and keep lifted. Bend the left knee a little bit deeper. One more breath and let it go. Lower your hands down, step back, hold plank. Feel your front ribs pulling in, your abdominal muscles working, outer arms burning, legs cooking. One more deep breath. Slowly keep your legs strong, lower down. Inhale, lift up, exhale, downward dog. Really deep breaths here, smooth out your breath to calm your body down. Nice, now take one more breath, empty it out, step or jump your feet between your hands. Inhale, stretch forward, exhale, fold. Separate your feet hips distance, grab your elbows, hang. Relax your neck, let your head be heavy. Let the weight of your body and the weights pull your spine really long. And breathe into that stretch. Great, now release your hands to the floor. Step your feet back a couple feet. Come on, come into a squat on the balls of your feet. We're gonna go into crow pose. So separate your knees as wide as you can. Place your hands down underneath your shoulders. Now I want you to crawl your arms, your shins as far up towards your armpits as you can. Gently rock the weight forward and lift one foot up and then the other. Hold here for five breaths if you can. If you can't, keep trying. You'll get it one day. If you don't try it, you'll never get it. Draw your front ribs in, scoop your belly in, and maybe start to straighten your arms. One more breath, and then shoot your legs back. Straighten your arms, upward dog, and then downward facing dog. Great. Stretch through your spine. One more breath here. Empty it out. Step or jump your feet forward. Inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Come into chair pose. Then bring your hands to namaste at your heart and hook your left elbow to the outside of your right leg. So you wanna keep your hips in chair, drop your butt back. Make your spine really long and drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Squeeze your thighs into each other. Three, take three more breaths into your lower back. One more. And then on an inhale, come back up into chair pose. Take one more breath. Then release it, fold forward, straighten your legs and rest. Relax your torso and your neck. Deep breaths. All right, now other side. Again, bend your knees, drop your hips, squeeze your thighs into each other, come up into chair pose. Now keep your legs symmetrical, bring your hands to your heart, and hook your right elbow to the outside of your left leg. Stand on your heels, stretch your spine long, and try to rotate your back right rib cage to the left. Three more big breaths. And then on an inhale, come back up into chair pose and release it, fold forward, straighten your legs. 
great. Inhale, stretch forward. Step back into a push-up position. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. From here, come into a push-up position. Draw a deep breath in. Lower down. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward dog. Now put your knees on the floor. Put your elbows on the floor directly underneath your shoulders. Place your front hands in front of your elbows. Curl your toes under and straighten your legs. And then press your chest towards your thighs. And if you can, walk your feet in a little bit closer towards your elbows. Use your breath to reach your hips up. So on the inhales, reach up taller. Exhale, chest towards thighs. Relax your neck. One more breath here. And then place your knees down. Curl your toes under and press back to downward facing dog. Step your right foot between your hands. Drop your left knee to the floor. Place both arms to the inside of your bent right leg and either stay here or if you can sink lower towards the floor, come onto your elbows, drop into your hips. Maybe scoot your left knee back a little bit more and pull your heart forward and sink low. One more breath, and then straighten your arms. Place your right hand on the outside of your right leg. Straighten your right leg. Reach forward out of your hips and lengthen forward over your straight right leg. Flex your foot, spread your toes. One more. And then bend your right knee again. Place both hands on top of your right knee. Prop your spine up. Wipe your sweat. Hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Bring your palms to prayer at your heart. Reach forward out of your back knee and oh, from the back left rib cage, rotate your torso to the right. And on the inhales, reach. Exhale, soften your torso to maybe stretch more. Now staying deep in this twist, you're gonna curl your back toes under and then take your left knee off the floor. Come into twisting crescent pose. Get grounded through your right heel, reach through your back leg. Straighten your back leg more and push the heel back. One more breath and then lower your hands down. Step back to a push-up position, lower down. Inhale, come right back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up, dog. Seeing if you're listening. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, other side. Step your left foot between your hands. Drop your right knee to the floor. Place both hands on the inside of your bent left leg. If you have the space, come onto your forearms. Slide your right knee back a little more. Sink your torso towards the floor. Breathe into your hips. This should feel good. Make it feel good. And then straighten your arms. Place your left hand to the outside of your left leg. Straighten your left leg. Draw the hip back. Make your spine really long and then fold forward over your straight left leg. One more breath. And then bend your left knee again. You're gonna place both hands on top of your bent left leg. Straighten your arms and hook your right elbow. This is where you wipe the sweat. To the outside of your left knee. Bring your hands to your heart. Draw forward out of your back knee and sink your hips low. And if your balance is comfortable, gaze and look out over your left shoulder towards the ceiling. Now, staying deep in the twist, curl your back toes under. This is 
to balance pose and take your right knee off the floor. Reach back through your right heel. Draw your left hip back, but keep your spine reaching. Don't collapse in your right shoulder. Lift up out of your right shoulder. Four more breaths. One more. Oh, and then let it go. Lower your hands down. Step back, hold plank. I think three more push-ups. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Stretch your shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great. Now bring your shoulders over your wrists again. Take a deep breath in. This time slowly, slowly, slowly. Lower your body all the way down ah, to the floor. Okay, stretch your arms out in front of you. Crawl your legs behind you. Make your body really long and just look at the floor. So tuck your chin slightly and uh, you wanna keep the back of your neck long. Staying here, keeping your body really long, lift your right leg up and your left leg up. Now don't allow your left hip bone to lift off the floor. Left front hip down, right arm lifts. Keep your limbs really straight and active and if you can, lift them up a little higher. One more breath here and lower it down, other side. Right leg, left arm. It's more important to get extension and then to lift up. So make sure your limbs are straight, you're reaching out of your center, and then keep all that space along your spine if you can, lift up higher. Inner right thigh revolves towards the ceiling, so the front of the leg faces the floor. One more breath and then lower it down. Now both arms, both legs. Reach your arms forward, reach your legs back. Turn your palms to face each other so your shoulders roll open. Spiral your inner thighs towards the ceiling. Reach out of your center. Use your entire back body to lift up. Now, open your arms out to the sides and slide your shoulder blades down your back. Press the tips of your shoulder blades in to lift your heart up. Keep your inner thighs revolving up. Now keeping your shoulders pressing down, slowly reach your arms out in front of you again. Last three deep breaths. One more. Oh, and then release it down. Turn your head to one side or the other and rest. Now from here, I want you to bend your knees and reach grab back and grab the outsides of your ankles. Flex your feet, so reach your heels up towards the ceiling. Now use your legs to pull your shoulders down, so press your shins towards the back of the room, and then, keeping your shoulders pulling back, lift your thighs up off the floor as much as you can, and reach your inner heels up towards the ceiling, and breathe really deep into the front side of your body. Make sure your knees aren't splaying out to the side, so draw them towards each other even more if you can. Two more big breaths. And then release it down. Great, now from here, I want you to press back to child's pose. Stretch out your spine, reach back. Again, Big breaths into the back side of your body. And then slide your hands down towards your knees. Round your spine, tuck your chin into your chest and really slowly round your way up to a seated position. Right, from here I want you to extend your legs straight out in front of you. Draw your right knee in towards your chest and then place a foot to the outside of your left knee. Bend your left knee, bring your left foot to the outside of your right hip, hook your left elbow to the outside of your right leg, place your right hand down behind you and prop your spine up tall and revolve to the right as much as you can. Two breaths here.
and then release the twist. We're going to come right into happy cow pose. The happy cow is knee on top of knee, or as close towards that as you can manage. Uh, if this pose is really easy, you can slide your feet even further away from your center. Otherwise, you can bring them close, and if it looks something like this, that's fine, as long as you feel it in your hips. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, bend the elbow, reach your right hand behind your back. Now, sit up tall here, breathe into your side hips. If this is easy, fold forward. As always, really deep breaths. And then slowly lift your torso up, reach your arms, and other side. Send your legs straight out in front of you, shake them out. Hug your left knee into your chest, place your foot to the outside of your right leg, and then bend your right knee, bring your right foot to the outside of your left hip. Ground down evenly through both hips. Hook your right arm to the outside of your left leg. Now keeping your hips grounded, Lift your spine up tall, and you can use your left hand to help rotate yourself open and keep your spine lifted. And with each exhale, see if you can soften your rib cage a little more, soften your back to release deeper into the twist. One more breath here. And gently release the twist. Come into happy cow. Scoot your left foot a little more to the right. Maybe slide your right foot out from underneath you. Ground down through your hips. Find a position where you feel it in your side hips, but it's not uh, ripping anything. Sit up tall. And then reach your right arm up. Bend the elbow. Reach your left hand around. Try to clasp. If you can't clasp, just grab a strap or a towel. Deep breaths here. Deliberately relaxing your hips, your shoulders, your face. And if you need a little more, go ahead and fold forward. And then gently lift your spine up. Release your arms. Great job. So from here, final rest pose. Extend your legs out. Shake them out a little bit. And then hug your knees in. Gently roll your spine down to the floor. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Allow your palms to turn open. And then gently extend one leg out and then the other. Let your body get really heavy. Let go of all the muscular effort. Give yourself permission to do nothing. Really great job. Stay here for at least three minutes. Let your body come back to balance. And see you next time at Sports School.